Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be creating and folding back a decision tree using tree plan. And this is the part one of this video where we're going to create a simple tree. Then in part two, we're going to create a revised tree with revised information and posterior probability. So look for the second video which has more details on tree plan. This is the problem that we're going to be looking at, which is taken from the test review that we use in the course. So Humber TV production is considering producing a pilot for a comedy series for a major TV network, or to transfer the rights to a competitor for 100,000. The original network may reject the pilot or purchase it for one year. The payoff table if they produce it and the network rejected it, they're going to be losing 100000 If they buy it for one year, they will be getting 250000 If they sell it to competitor, there is no reject or buy, they're going to be making 100000 And there is a 30% chance that the TV network will reject the series. So, based on this information, we're going to develop the decision tree and evaluate using the MP. For the steps on how to add tree plan to Excel, look for my other video adding this tree plan to Excel. So the first step is we're going to click on decision tree or you can press Control Shift T. And keep in mind that every time you press, depending on where you are in the tree, you're going to get different windows. Since this is the first step, which you have, don't have tree already, you will get this window which asks you if you wanted to create a new tree, cancel, or help. So creating new tree will add a tree with a decision and two alternatives. Our alternatives will be to produce or sell, as we see over here. So produce the series or sell it to the competitor. If they sell it to the competitor, there is no outcomes, or there is no different outcomes. It's the same thing, getting 100,000 either way. But if they produce it, then the TV network, you see, when I click on decision tree, it gives me a different window. Since I'm here on the branch, it's going to ask me if I want to change it to a decision, event, or outcome known, or if I want to remove that branch. Here, I want to change it to event node because it's not a decision, it's not our decision, it's the TV network, they can accept or reject. So I'm going to change it to event node with two branches, so that's what I need. If I click on options, you will see that you can change it from maximizing profit to minimizing cost, in this case we're maximizing profit and we're using the expected values. So these are options that you can change. In a tree plan. Let's go back and change it to event node with two branches. And these two branches are project or buy for one year. Now, one thing about tree plan, depending on the number of branches you add for an event node or outcomes, it will divide the probability equally among the branches. So if you have two branches, it's going to make them 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. In our problem, they said there is 30% chance that the series will be rejected by the network. So we're going to come to the reject portion of put 0 0.3. And since this is 0 0.5, and they don't add up to 1, you're going to get an error. So, if there's 30% chance to reject it, that means there's 70% chance they're going to buy it. The sum of probabilities should equal 1. The other thing we have to enter is the payoff for each option. Now, if you look here, we have three zeros. This is very important. If you click here on this zero, you see that there's a formula here. And the formula is used to do the calculation when we enter other values over here. So do not enter the payoff at the end. Do not enter it here, because this is also a formula. Enter it where it says zero, and there is no formula. 
So if it's rejected, the problem says it's a minus 100,000. So minus 100,000. If they buy it for one year, they're going to be making 250,000. x was zero and if they sell it to the competitor it says what hundred thousand so we're gonna come over here this is a hundred thousand now tree plan gives you right away the decision see in the decision here it shows one one means the first branch so every branch will have a number if I have three branches, it would be one, two, three, and here would be placed the branch that represent the maximum payoff. Also, it will take the payoff and place it over here. So now the decision would be what? Produce the series with an expected or expected monetary value EMP of 145,000. That doesn't mean they're going to be making 145,000. It's still going to be either you're going to lose 100,000 or make 250, but this is the expected monetary value. So folding back the tree means this calculation that Excel does for us takes the probability times this value, probability times this value, and place it over here, and that's what the formula here is showing. Tree plan does the calculation. It picks the maximum of all of these and place the answer over here. In our next video, we're going to be modifying this based on the information give us, given to us on the sample information and the survey. So look for that video where we're going to modify this tree based on this information and we're going to be modifying or finding the revised probability using Bayes theorem as we'll explain in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come.